so the mysterious antagonists make his move. First of all, before we go in this, I just want to... Well, I don't want to exaggerate anything, but I don't know how the state is. So, well, I just want to send out uh, a quick prayer. Therefore, um, this review will be without the glasses, so you can see. I give my prayer to to you, Charles and Animal World. You said you were going to end surgery. I don't know which kind, but I do hope all goes well, in case you were going to watch this episode. This uh, is my prayer that everything t will go right for you, e regardless of what kind of surgery it was, because I wasn't sure myself. Okay, this for this is me, the angry anime fan, doing Shogeki no Soma chapter 272 of this chapter. Oh, and uh, first of all, we see... Uh, we... We see uh, uh, Ryu Kurokiba uh, to ta and as well as Alice. Uh, sorry, I actually forgot her name. Alice talking to Irina about they are tra trying to find out more noir chefs in Atami, but uh, the damage with Shugiki are still there, but they haven't found anyone. And they're still not really sure of this other Saiba fellow, which while Soma still reflects about the other sun comet, we do not know. Then later Hisako calls uh, Irina and tells them that a new lecturer has arrived. And we finally get to know that a lot of the teachers that um, taught when Asami took over was indeed uh, subordinates to Asami. Therefore they had to be cut off while well, they were jerk asses so they only had to disappear like the insects they were. But um, uh, so now they apparently they're filling in some of the former staff members. Uh, uh, as well as recruiting staff from resource and temporary appointments. And one of them that reports is a very young looking man, almost a college looking man, that calls himself Suzuki. But we can almost certainly guess that that is not Susushi, but uh, Asashi from last week's chapter. But for argument's sake, let's call him Suzuki right now. Either way, he has a air cool in this. As Soma and Megami walks in the hallway and thinks about what Monarch Sun said about uh, when a noir is particularly skilled, they are able to enter a country regardless of easy, meaning that probably they use criminal, well, connections to get in. So uh, they have entered Japan under the noses. And uh, Megami is also so very surprised of the fact that Soma is so very casual about the idea that. Uh, Yochiro may have had an illegitimate child, or an older one. Well, either way, um, uh, inside the classroom, Suzuki is just uh, doing very easy things, like eating them and being, well, uh, kind of nice to them, but also talking about many different things. And finally, Megami and Tadokura enters, as uh, uh, the other student mentions there in lead 10. But as soon as he hears that uh, Soma is the first seat, we immediately see that his ear is listening. Later on, he has a private uh, chat together with Megumi and Tadoko. No, no, sorry, Megumi and Soma. While he begins to talk about many different things, uh, as he mentioned that he just wanted to lighten the mood of the class by doing stuff random, buying things randomly in the convenience store. You know, this looks awfully familiar, if you know what I mean. And so, as he introduced himself, suddenly Suzuki gets a little bit, you know, up close and personal with the uh, Soma. But it's what he says next that is actually the biggest surprise, at least for me. He actually questions, you got a girlfriend you're going out with? And Soma says, no, of course. Uh, I mean, uh, he doesn't say of course, but we know that Soma is not doing that. But what I find surprised is the fact that Soma never struck me as the guy that would ever pursue a relationship. Because... Uh, He's too much of a chaste hero. Also, I think he is too dumb to even realize the meaning of romance. But what he says here is surprisingly something I never expected Soma to say. Something like uh, love and all that kind of stuff. I think it's a bit too early for me for all. And I and it's weird, I do know. I mean, granted, the, the fact he says it's weird, that makes sense. But the fact that he, of all people, says it's too early is a line I never expected for him. I mean, I would have half expected him to say, well, love is a distraction. Which I think is one of the reasons why he's rejecting a little bit the philosophy that cooking for love one. But Megami is just shocked at the fact that Soma is lost of the words. And so Suzuki begins to talk about uh, 
how to make cooking better as he mentions that his master taught him that if you cook for someone special uh, then your cooking will become better and Megami also reacts a little bit to that so um, but Soma just feels like uh, he is not the first time we have met and so suddenly Suzuki turns out a different air takes out a kitchen knife and says in exchange for the secret I just told you how about a request of mine Face me in a shogaki, Yuki Harakun, he says. As the menace grows closer, what is this uh, mysterious person's real goal? As I said before, that's definitely a sushi, or, well, a sashi, as he says, but for argument's sake, we're calling him Suzuki. Now is the question, though. Again, we still don't really know what his goal is. The fact that this time he calls Yochiro his master, not his father once again puts another spin on the other son theory is the fact that uh, Yochiro even called uh, him Saiba son I mean there are so many things that makes me a little bit aggravated I do not like these uh, chicken eggs that are just ready to pop up with the questions just give us the questions immediately sometimes I just feel like we have to have the answers immediately in these situations so what is this meaning of this all? Is Suzuki Asashi the illegitimate child, or is it, or was it more of a student master son relationship of it all? Either way, Suzuki is currently challenging Soma to a shugeki. Soma, of course, will uh, accept, but do you think he will win that shugeki? Given to the fact that the spare always has to win in order to uh, play advance the plot, no, I do not think he will win. But only because of despair, and the fact that a guy that just beat Yochiro and loses to Soma, yeah, how is that gonna make sense, are the haters gonna say. So I'm just saying, what now? What is Suzuki's real goal, really? What is it that he really wants? The fact is that his ear immediately pops up as soon as he heard that Soma was the first seat and his Yukihara name. What do Saiba Asashi really want? Does he want to destroy restaurants similar to Asami? Or does he want to take over Totsuki in his own way? What is his goal? It's the fact that he's, even he knows the secret of the cooking for your loved one when Soma do not. Yes, further makes this all the more confusing. Are we looking at an antagonist or are we looking at something else? Don't put me on the edge of my seat here, authors. Just give me the answer. So that's basically this chapter. Better than last week, at least. Still, though, we don't really know. So give me your thoughts if you have any.